Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your free MLB baseball previews and predictions today for Sunday. It is August 13th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your friendly Sunday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you are using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Rain Report, you can get the Rain Report each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. In fact, if you go to the website, click on Matchups, it's going to take you to the Baseball Rain Report Lite version. And in the pull-down menu, go to the game of your choice. And if you scroll down to the bottom, we give you stats and trends. Those are the things that people love the most here at the free Rain Report. And hopefully we can help you today with your winning ways for Sunday August 13th. All right, let's go to SBI, the Sports Betting Index, and let's see what came in yesterday in Major League Baseball. We did have one game that was postponed till today. We got a double header. I believe it's the game between Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, and uh, we got a double header there. But we'll give you the preview and forecast in just a few minutes. But looking at yesterday's um, roles as the favorites, underdogs, over unders, and the run line, the run line still having a great run. In fact, 10 and 5 on Saturday bringing the uh, three-day average to the underdog plus one and a half 62.7 percent 58.1 on the seven-day average and speaking of favorites 59.9 percent of major league baseball favorites won the last seven days 64 over the last three days so pay attention to favorites and i, I talked about this uh, early last week or after the uh, the trade deadline Keep an eye on favorites, NBA, NHL, Major League, but it doesn't matter. The trade deadline is uh, is uh, it's almost like your starting point where all the favorites start coming in at a higher, higher pace. And that's because teams are, are making a run for the playoffs and uh, the favorites are having a really good uh, experience winning uh, ball games. You can see that right there through our, um, our SBI Sports Betting Index, 64% the last three days. That is very high. When it comes to the total, you can see that 54.4% of the unders have cashed in the last seven days and uh, over the last seven days you get eight and six nine and six to the over that was probably the only day there on the august 7th seven and four to the over eight and seven here so yeah pretty tight numbers when it comes to the total and again you can get this with your membership at atsstats.com only four dollars nine nine cents for the week and it's a good time to get in now with college football and the nfl uh well nfl preseason underway all right let's get to your uh, major league baseball forecast today it is uh, sunday friendly Sunday, August 13th. We'll kick it off at Fenway, where the Red Sox lost yesterday. 6-2 was the final. Today, they're going to send Cutter Crawford to the hill against Eduardo Rodriguez, former Red Sox, going to pitch against his old teammates. Bookmakers making the Boston Red Sox a minus-135 favorite. I had them listed at minus-177, so you're getting a nice discount today on the Red Sox. And we got them winning 4.6 to 4.2, the over-under at 8.9. So we do have this game staying under the total. The last three games for Detroit have gone under the total, while the last four for Boston have gone under the total as well. They are 4-6 and six in their last 10 games, and Detroit is now 6-4, and four, seat neutral. And your Kogo for game number one here is uh, 75%. Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total. That is the percentage play here on the rim report. All right, let's go to uh, game number two between Philadelphia and Minnesota. Big win last night for the Twins. 8-1 to one was the final. Today, they're going to send Sonny Gray to the hill against Ranger Suarez of the Philadelphia Phillies. Last uh, last time we looked, the bookmakers made the Phillies a 120 favorite. I had them listed at minus 156 on my value index, so you can see another discount here on the home favorite. And uh, we're going to lean with the road team, just like we did yesterday, I believe. 4.43 to 4.38, the over-under at 8.81. So we do like this game to go over the total. Looking at the chances of winning on the cow, 49.3% for Philadelphia, 47.5 for the Twins, who are now 6-4 in the last 10, while Philly, 7-3 in their last 10 games. Your Kogo at 51%. Oakland couldn't hang on to that 2-1 lead. And Washington, our free play of the day yesterday. If you go to the Ram Report each and every day, go to the front page. In fact, if you uh, go right here, and you click on today's free baseball pick, you can see Washington was our free play of the day yesterday. And uh, minus 135 is the line today. Trevor Williams going up against Ken Waldachuk of the Oakland Athletics. And we're going to lean with the Washington Nationals today. 4.96 to 4.66, the over-under at 9.62. So we do like this game to go over the total. Looking at the chance of winning this game, going to go with the uh, Nationals here at 54.9%. Compared to 45.4 for the underdogs, which is good. Anybody who's watched the podcast know that anytime you get the cow at 40% or higher with the underdog, it's always a consideration. Oakland, though, on a two-game losing streak, 
and they are now three and seven in their last 10 games, while Washington is seven and three, two seven and one to the under. Cincinnati playing the uh, double header today and rule of thumb, right? You, every, everybody knows my rule of thumb. I don't bet double headers. Just too much going on. Look at the perfect example yesterday, right? Who would have predicted 21 runs in that Atlanta game? And, uh, you know, what does that do for the bullpen for the Mets in the, in the second game? So that's why I don't bet on double headers. Minus 135 here for the Bucks. Nine and a half is the total. And you got Mitch Keller going up against uh, Brandon Williamson. This will be a 135 start. And we do like the Bucks. Uh, actually, yeah, we do like the Bucks in game one. 4.9 to 4.6, the over-under at 9.6. So we do have game number one going over the total. Last eight games for Cincinnati have gone under the total. And uh, they, they picked the wrong time to get cold. Two and eight in their last 10 games. Chicago Cubs taking the first two at uh, the Rogers Center on uh, Jose Batista Day yesterday. Really good uh, congratulations to the Blue Jays on putting on a great uh, induction for Jose Batista on his uh, the wall of, uh, of uh, fame for the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Every time the Blue Jays, they celebrate somebody, they put them on the wall in the Rogers Center, and it looks really good. And Toronto today, a minus-135 favorite. Nine is the total. ATS forecast, going to lean with Hunjin Ryu over Jamison Tyon, 4.7 to 4.3. The over-under landing on 9.14, so it looks like we do like it to go over the total. And the Toronto Blue Jays are going to avoid to get the swept, uh, being swept here today. They're on a three-game losing streak while the Cubs have won two. And uh, we do have the Blue Jays winning 4.7 to 4.3. The over-under 9.14. So we do like it to go over. And the chances of winning goes to the Blue Jays at 58.6% compared to 46.1 for the Cubbies. And the chance of this one going over the total is at 59%. Blue Jays are now 5-5 five five in the last 10, while the Cubbies are 7-3. All right, Cleveland Guardians taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays were loving the having Cleveland in town because they win in dramatic fashion the last couple days with 9-8 on Friday, 6-5 on Saturday. We'll see what's in store today at Tropicana today for Sunday, August 13th. We got uh, Zach Eflin going up against Tanner Bibby of the Cleveland Guardians. Now, a good pitching matchup here in this one. Bibby 8-2 in a year, a 2.92 ERA, while Eflin 12-6 and a 3.34 ERA. And look at that over under, seven and a half. And according to the forecast, we do like the uh, Rays to win three in a row, 4.5 to 3.53. The over under landing on 8.05. So we do have this one flying over the total. Cleveland Guardians, la loser of the last two. And in fact, the last two games between these two teams have gone over the total. Your Kogo is very low, 43% meaning a 57% chance of this one uh, going under the total. And um, I did have the uh, Tampa Bay Rays listed at 220 on my value index, so a bit of an overvalued price here today. Maybe Cleveland on the run line might be worth a look. All right, New York Yankees taking on the Miami Marlins. The Yankees are 135 chalk, 7 is the total. So we got a touchdown as the total right there. And a big win yesterday for the uh, Miami Marlins. 3-1 to one was the final. Today, Garrett Cole up against Yuri Perez of the Marlins. But we're going to go with uh, the Bronx Bombers in this one. 3.7 to 3.6. The over-under at 7.44. So we do have it going over the total. And looking at the last 10 games for both these teams, the Yankees are 5-5, five and five, while the Marlins 4-6. and six. And 70% of the Marlins' last 10 games have gone under the total. I did have the Yankees listed at minus 133 today on my value index. Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Chicago White Sox. The White Sox are going to send Dylan Cease to the hill against Freddie Peralta of the Milwaukee Brewers. Going to be a good pitching matchup. In fact, looking at the stats of both these teams, Peralta 8-8 eight eight in the year, a 4.28 ERA, while Dylan Cease 5-5, five five, a, a 4.42 ERA. And we're going to lean with the uh, the Brew Crew in this one, 4.09 to 3.98, the over-under landing on 8.07. So we do have this one going over the total. Milwaukee coming in on a three-game win streak. They are now 6-4 straight up in the last 10 games. Minus 139 was my line. And you're getting a bit of a discount at minus 125. So pretty close to fair market value. In fact, a little bit of a discount. 44% chance of this one going over the total. And uh, both these teams, let me see here. No, 4-6 and six straight up for Chicago last 10. 6-4 and four for Milwaukee. LA Angels coming off a spanking last night. 11-3. In fact, they got spanked the last two games against the Strohs. Today, Jose Urquetti going up against Chase Silseth of the uh, Halos. And we are going to lean with the team that's a 150 favorite and that's Houston 4.6 to 4.02 the over under to land on 8.67 and we're going to give Houston who's on a six game over streak a 55.06 percent chance of winning today against the Halos who are a 39.1 percent chance of winning 
today against uh, Houston. First pitch at Minute Maid, 210 Eastern. Nikogo at 32%. Texas Rangers winning big last night uh, at Oracle. 9-3 was the final. Today they're going to send Dane Dunning against Logan Webb. Should be a good pitching matchup right there. Dunning 9-4, 3.21 ERA, while Logan Webb 9-9, a 3.38 ERA. And uh, looking at the uh, San Francisco Giants, they're now on a four-game losing streak, while the Rangers still 9-1 in their last 10. And they've won their last two against the uh, Giants. And we're going to lean with the home team in this one. San Francisco, 4.2 to 3.32. The over-under at 7.61. So we do want this one to go under the total. And we're going to give the Kogo at 59%. And the Giants are 134 favorite. So you're getting a little bit of an overvalued price today on San Fran. Baltimore Orioles outlasting Seattle last night in a uh, pitching duel. one nothing was the final. Kyle Bradish going up against Bryce Miller today of the Seattle Mariners and uh, minus 115 is the line for Baltimore eight is the total and we are going to lean with Baltimore on this one 4.1 to 3.9 the over under at 8.02 so we do have this one going a tad over the total the chance of winning this game on the percentage play does favor Seattle at 50.3 percent compared to 48.9 for Baltimore and uh, looking at the Kogos at 48 percent I had Baltimore listed at minus 134 in my value index so a bit of a discount today at minus 115 the cow 50.3 however for seattle so interesting uh play right here on the um on the percentage play all right colorado taking on the dodgers four to one was the final last night for the blue the team in blue and that's the dodgers 350 another big high chalk game here nine is the total we're gonna go right back to la 5.1 to 3.7 the over under at 8.87 the dodgers on a seven game win streak and their last five have gone under the total San Diego taking on the Arizona Dimebacks. The D-backs winning uh, yesterday. 3-0 was the final. Today, they're going to send Brendan Pfaff to the hill against Seth Lugo of the Padres. Padres, a 145 favorite. 9.5 is the total. And we're going to lean with San Diego in this one. 5.03 to 4.6. The over-under at 9.68. So we do have this one going over the total. The Coco, though, agrees with it. Uh, 61%. You got a C-Bearish team in San Diego up against a B-Bearish team. So... Misery loves company. They're going to meet today at Chase Field. And uh, Arizona, 1-9 straight up in their last 10 games. 80% of those games have gone under the total, while San Diego is 4-6 and 7-3 and and to the over. And then there's your second doubleheader game, 4.6 to 4.2. you got uh, Andre Jackson up against Luke Weaver uh, at uh, Penn C Park. First pitch in that one, 6.05 Eastern. And your uh, ESPN Sunday night game of the week, you got uh, Atlanta taking on the New York Mets. They won the first game 21-3, to I believe. So they scored 10, 27 runs. This is why I don't bet doubleheaders. Minus 130 is the line tonight. You got uh, Yanni Shirinos going up against Kode Senga. And uh, we're going to leave with the chop chop in this one. 5.17 to 4.43. The over-under at 9.6. So we do have it to uh, fly over the total. New York coming in on a three-game losing streak. While the Braves have won their last three. They are 6-4 and four straight up in the last 10. While the uh, New York Mets, they are struggling. 2-8 and eight in their last 10 games, and we did have the Atlanta Braves listed at minus 201 on our value index. So if you like a, uh, a discount, this is this is a very big discount of minus 130. Something to think about, though. Uh, you know, when you look at the line, it should be around minus 201. You score 27 runs, and you're only a 130 favorite. Something doesn't smell right here. Uh, chance of winning, 48% compared to 42.1 for the New York Mets. There you have it. That is our computer picks today for... Sunday. It's a friendly Sunday, August 13th. Let's go to the 80% Club. I'm going to bring up my two best uh, stats uh, for the uh, 80% Club today with two sections. I got the Rays. They're 13-1 and as a home team coming off an American League Central opponent this season, which is pretty good. Um, let me see. The Braves, 12-2 and as a weight team versus division foes on the road this year. 85.7%. Um, the uh, Diamondbacks, 10-2 and as a home team coming off a win against a National League West Division opponent this season. The Blue Jays 10-2 as a home team coming off a loss against a uh, National Central Division opponent the last five years. That's good for 83%. And uh, the Boston Red Sox 14-3 to the under anytime they're coming off a fort run loss the last two years. And that is good for 85%. And uh, let me see your 80. Yep. So let me go to the old 80% club. And I do have some more stats for you guys. Logan Webb as a home um, when he's a favorite in the month of August. 9-2 and two to the under. Interesting stat right there. Colorado's, uh, when Colorado's a road team in LA, look at that. 16-4 uh, to the under last 20 games. So when Colorado's in LA, 
Last 20 games, 16-4 and four to the under. That is amazing stat right there. Julio Urias is a favorite in the month of August, 18-4. and four. Very good stat. Well, he had that one year where he won everything, right? So that probably helps him right there. Uh, Philadelphia is a home team on Sunday after a non-conference game. Coming off a home loss as an underdog, and they allowed eight runs or less against. 9-1 to the over in their next contest. And I do have another one I want to show you guys. It was pretty uh, interesting. San Diego as an away favorite. Totals 9.5 last five years. 13-2 and two straight up. 11-4 to the over. And I believe it's over here. Um, where was it? Yeah, San Diego is a road favorite. No, that's the same one. Houston uh, was the fourth game of a series. Where was that one again? Houston was the fourth game of a series. There it is. When Atlanta, sorry, it was Atlanta. When Atlanta's a uh, away favorite playing in August, the fourth game of a series. 9-4 and four straight up. 9-1-3 and three to the over. So maybe another over uh, tonight in the ESPN Sunday night game of the week. And here's one more for the road. When Boston's a home team during the day game, third game of a series coming off a four-run loss, and it was a home loss, 11-1 and one straight up in the next contest. So maybe uh, Boston today at Fenway. What's the line of that game again? Boston, minus 135. Uh, Cutter Crawford, though. I don't, know, I don't know if I can trust uh, Cutter Crawford right now. He's 5-6 and six at 3.8 against Edward Rodrigo. So I don't know about that. All right, folks, there you have it. That is your uh, baseball podcast today for a Sunday, friendly Sunday, August 13th. Don't forget, you can get my three Major League Baseball plays of the day. In fact, didn't have a great day yesterday. If I look at yesterday's picks, I had the under. We got hooked by that one. That finished 5-4. to four. Had the Red Sox, but we did win with the Baltimore on the run line. And if you go to our underdog play of the day yesterday, it was a winner. The, the dog of the day has been very good in the last uh, week or so. Texas Rangers, plus one and a half. And uh, we did win the dog of the day right there. And it went straight up. We didn't even need the Geico insurance. So there you have it. That is your um, your when your membership. Anytime you get a membership here at ATSStats.com, you get the three-game uh, pick pack. You get my underdog play of the day. And if you just go to the website, you also get my free play of the day. And yesterday, my free play was the Washington Nationals. And if you look at my um, members play yesterday, I went one and one, Houston and Philly. But uh, having a good run with my um, my premium picks the last nine in fact i think i'm seven and two last nine releases so and for if you want a membership for the entire year want all my premium picks for one year it's only 79 dollars, and you get all my picks every sport and uh, all you got to do once you get your membership you uh, go to the picks i bought you click on that and then the picks i bought will show up on the next page and you will see the units the the the, the pick right here the unit's recommendation, and then the result if it won or lost the last um, last time you bought them. All right, so there you have it. That is today's podcast, Major League Baseball. Check out the uh, Ram Report uh, light version. Again, I talked about this at the top of the show. Go to matchups, and then once you go to your matchups, go to the pull-down menu and go to the uh, game of your choice, and uh, it'll bring up all the uh, Ram Report light version. This is all free. You can use it on the website. This is a very popular feature here at the website. And uh, don't forget the 24-hour rule. If you want to get my new book, the 24-hour rule, get your copy today. It's um, embracing patience and discipline in sports betting. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there's all the content that's in the book. And uh, if you get down to the, the, near number eight, it, so the beginning is very introductory, um, you know, basically an introduction to sports betting. But once you get too close to uh, number six and number eight, the art of value betting, the power of trends, the DMBI, the Daily Market Value Index, the type of teams in the Rain Report, the A, Bs, and Cs, how to bet on different sports, understanding and utilizing the games of cycles. You hear me talk about all the time. You know, this team's in a bearish, bullish cycle, neutral cycle. Strength of schedule, huge in football, especially in college. Um, advanced betting strategies, building your uh, betting system. I always say build your robot, right? And uh, the future of sports betting, how it looks, and I talk about it with AI and how AI is going to play a big role in the future of sports betting and that's all in my book the 24-hour rule you can get it today at amazon or go to the website click on order your copy it'll take you right to the page and you can get today's book the 24-hour rule celebrate your victories and uh, embrace patience and discipline in sports betting all right folks have yourself a great uh, rest of your uh, super sunday i'll see you back here on a monday a cash out monday for that and i uh, hope you have a good weekend cheers